One British passenger said the group, held in Peru, was starting to run out of food and water. 17 states, Washington DC, and New York City, are reporting high or very high respiratory illness activity amid a flu season that's hitting harder and earlier than usual, according to data published Friday by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Previous. Tom Barak, a longtime ally of Donald Trump, was acquitted on all federal foreign lobbying charges at a courthouse in Brooklyn on Friday. These are the stocks posting the largest moves midday. Space company Rocket Lab made another attempt at catching one of its electron boosters with a helicopter, as it pursues reusability. Pete Prisco reveals his Week 9 picks, including the Seahawks winning a desert shootout.